What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and we're doing another career day. Today we are at uh, Catawba Elementary School here in Catawba, North Carolina. And we're not far, we're about 15, 20 minutes away from the shop, but uh, we asked you guys here on YouTube if you'd like for us to come out and speak to your class, definitely um, contact us and we'll do it. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Catawba Elementary contacted us said, hey, would you like to come out for career day, show off some of your equipment, talk about scuba diving. And any, any chance that we get to talk about scuba diving, whether it's to kids or adults, we eat that stuff up, guys. So uh, we've got several classes. I think we got a total of 10 classes today and each class has got 15 to 20 some students. So we've got a ton of students we're gonna go through. Um, I've got another diver here with me. I got Brian, you know, our boat captain. You guys see him all the time, but he's one of our assistant instructors. He's gonna be showing his equipment and talking about how it's how we use it and then of course i brought my daughter's gear over here in the corner uh, and the reason i brought it is i want each kid to put it on so halfway through the class we're going to stand everybody up put them in a line and one at a time put them into gear let them feel it you know put it on feel see what it feels like but um come along with us hopefully we'll have a good time today hopefully we'll teach these kids a little bit about scuba diving and hopefully we'll get them interested to getting certified when they get old enough so come along with us and we'll see how we do This is also Brian, and we are professional <laughs> scuba divers. And so we work for a company called Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina, which is about 15 minutes away from here. It's not very far. And the reason I asked what your favorite subject was, a lot of you said math and science, because you get to learn things, you get to experiment things, right? Mm -hmm. Was professional scuba divers, we use math and science all the time, every single day. There's, you're either going to be positive or negative buoyant. And you're going to sink or you're going to float. And then there's neutral buoyant, which means we just fly like we're flying through the water. That's what this device does. If I, so I can pump this thing up. Everybody wore a life jacket before? That's what, it's going to make you float. It's going to make you float just like a life jacket. But when I take the air out, I push this button. All the air goes out. So what's going to happen if I take all the air out? You can see. But if I add just a little bit of air, depending on how deep I am, I get neutral. It means I'm not going up, I'm not going down. Then I can just fly through the water. It's just like flying. You don't weigh anything. Okay? Guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about weight underwater because there's three things we have to be to be a scuba diver. All right? We got to be Superman. Sounds crazy, right? We get to be Superman underwater. Yay, because Superman. we can fly like Superman. Well, we get to, well, you can be Supergirl, very good. We can be Aquaman underwater. What can Aquaman do that we can't? He, 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 he can breathe underwater, right? So can a scuba diver with this equipment. Right. What What does the Hulk have that we don't have? Muscle. Muscle, muscle. superhuman strength. Well, you know what we have underwater? We have superhuman strength. You want to know why? Because 95% of the human population, if they were to jump in the water, you know what would happen to them? They'd float. They'd float. That's called Archimedes' principle. And that's something that you'll learn about later on in a science class and something we teach in scuba diving. And since we float, and like Brian number two says, we have to wear a lot of heavy weight just to go underwater. Well, that's heavy, heavy weight. This is about six pounds here. Sometimes we wear up as much as 40 pounds oh, when we go underwater. Where do you right. put that? Well, this is a belt that goes around your waist. Sometimes it's actually attached to our system itself. But what we're going to do is we're going to let you feel just how heavy some of this equipment really is. Uh, I want you to turn around and face the back side of the class once you get up here, and I'm going to help you get the gear on. You're going to put it on just like a jacket. So you'll put one arm in, the other arm in, and we're going to put it on your shoulders. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold all the weight for you, okay? So when you say that you're ready, I'm just going to take my hand off and let you feel that weight. Just remember, underwater, we don't feel this. It doesn't weigh nothing to us at that point. We only feel it up here on land. But this will kind of give you an idea of what we have to wear when we're underwater. We're going to put the hoses on you and kind of let you see all the, the cool stuff about scuba diving. Sometimes we tell people we're astronauts. All right? So, one at a time, just walk up, put it on just like you would a coat. There you go. Very good. And then you, of course, be breathing through that. All right, I'm going to give you a little bit of weight. Are you ready? You got it? 
Not too bad, is it? All right, who's next? I'm Brian. Remember Brian? Good job. I'm a cool Brian. He's spelled with a Y. He's spelled with an I. You got it? It's all yours, bro. Good job. You want to try it on? Yeah, because she's yelling at me. Can I feel We'll hold it up for you. Good job. Bottom of the road. What do you guys say? Don't you got it? Thank you. You're welcome. Take care, guys. All right, guys, so we just got finished up with our last group here. We're getting our gear loaded up. This is something we really thoroughly enjoy doing. We love teaching kids about it. Say, hey, buddy. Um, we love teaching kids about scuba diving, getting them started at a very young age, and, and just show them there's not a lot of mystery in scuba diving. However, there's a lot of science and math that they can learn from it. But I appreciate you coming along. Guys, if you've seen our live video of this, that was kind of our first go-around at doing a live video. We still have plans of doing a live Q&A session, uh, but we wanted to practice and, and do some live videos as well. But guys, if you like this video, or if you want us to come out and speak to your group, please put a comment down in the comment section below. Let us know where you're from uh, if it's feasible of course for us to come out we will but if you like this video just smash that like button for me as always guys make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.